YouTube, Chrono16 here. Today is date March 7th, 2012. I'm sure a lot of you know about the massive X 5.4 solar flare that shot off the sun early this morning. The reason why I'm making this video because there's a lot of videos out there talking about this. I'm just going to try to make it simple so anybody can understand what's going on. Right now we're under radiation storm alert. A strong S3 radiation storm is now in progress. This is a result of a high energy protons and coming from a large solar flare. We're also under a minor geometric storm with a KP level of 5. Now they're saying that this massive right here this is the representation of the Sun and this is a representation of the flare that came off the Sun and this is Earth. As you can see that is the direct hit to us. We're going to be a direct hit and they're saying it's going to be here tomorrow March 8th the solar wind is expected to increase to over 800 kilometers a second and a strong geometric storming will be possible. This plasma cloud is a result of a the large X5.4 and X.1.3 flare event very early this morning. Okay, this thing is headed straight toward us. Now, what is a S3 radiation storm that's going on right now? What is that? Well, an S3 radiation storm uh, is. Uh, biological uh, radiation hazards avoidance recommended for astronauts up in space people flying in airplanes at high altitudes could be affected by this satellite operations for example single event upsets noise and imaging systems in slight reduction of efficiency in solar panels are likely other systems affected by s3 storm uh, are degraded hf radio propagation Though the polar region through the polar regions in navigation position errors are likely. Now I know the navigation position errors are likely because early I did a test with my uh, Droid phone. Uh, I tried to track it from a loca different location, and it was saying it was in three or four different spots that it wasn't in. So the satellites are definitely being affected by this S3 radiation, uh, the S3 storm that's going on right now. So that's not good. Levels could definitely increase and, be, and it likely be worse than S3 when this plasma hits. We're going to have to wait and see. Right now, everything, the proton flux and all that stuff is leveling off from the first wave of this stuff. But again, remember tomorrow, March 8th, we're going to be getting the main brunt of that flare as it hits Earth in this representation right here. And also, I have another representation here, I think, um, here's the animation of it right here as it uh, shot off the sun and directly hits toward Earth, which it's not doing right now. I don't know why this is moving so slow. But anyway, it shot off the sun. Like I said, this represents, represents the sun, and it shot right into Earth there. According to the models, we're going to be directly hit from this thing. It's not going to be anything nice. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of uh, of electronics interfered with from this. So just want to make this short and simple video. All information relating to this particular event will be under this video. Check back for updates. It will be regularly updated. And if anything else arises, I'll make another video to keep you guys even more updated on what's going on with the solar flare events that are happening right now. Thanks for watching.